Hello everybody, so in the video of today I'm going to show in a very quick example how to check the distance to an object with a laser and how to use this information in order to perform a very simple and very easy script. So let's go. And as always the first thing I'm going to do is to go to RDS in order to show this example. There we are, so now I'm going to move to the public simulations and in this case I'm going to use the, the Kabuki simulation. So let's launch this simulation and wait a few moments until it is loaded. Excellent, so here we have our simulation, as you can see it contains a Kabuki robot and a wall, which is the object, the obstacle we are going to be checking, we are going to use in, the, in this example. So yeah, the first thing I want to show, I need to show from, from this simulation is the laser message. So let's do this a little bit bigger. And is if I do here a Rostopic list, I'm going to see this Kabuki laser scan topic. So let's check a message of this topic. There we are. So as you can see, contains quite a lot of information. Here we have some some fields like angle minimum, angle maximum, uh, scan time, range min, range max, okay. So the important field we need to take into account here is this ranges array here. This, the ranges array, which as you can see contains some inf infinite values and here as well some more values and at the end it will contain some more infinite values. Yes, here we have it. This is another array message intensities but the one we have to focus on is the ranges message. So this array contains lots of messages like uh, 720 more or less I don't remember exactly but contains a lot of, of values and each of these values correspond is related to a laser beam to the lecture of a laser beam. So the robot here is facing the wall and as you can see it contains the laser here and in this case this laser it has a, a range of 180 degrees more or less. Yes so it starts its lectures here and it will do all the scope of 70 of 180 degrees until here. Yes, and all of these you can imagine it as 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 rays, as beams of the laser that go like this, covering 180 degrees. Yes? So Here in the ranges array, the first values will correspond to the lectures, to the readings at the right part of the of the laser, so at the beginning of the laser beams. So it will correspond more or less to the lecture that the laser is having in this section here. 
Yes. So it will start here and lasers will go like this. And the first values of the ranges array will correspond to the lectures that are done here. The last values of the ranges array will correspond to the lectures that the laser beams are doing here. That's why they are infinite. Yes? So if you come here, you will see that this is an infinite value, an infinite reading. And this is because in this section, in the beginning and in the end, also here, there is no obstacle. So the reading shows an infinite value. But in the center section, the laser beams are hitting the wall. So they are detecting something. That's why in the center of the wrenches array, we do have values, we do have readings. Yes? So what does it mean? This means that in a very uh, quick approach, we can say that the values at the center of the wrenches array will correspond to the center to the distance here in a straight direction of the kabuki to an obstacle. Yes? So the center value of the ranges array will correspond to the center lecture of the laser. So it will correspond to the distance of the object of the of the obstacle right in front of the robot. Yes? Great, so knowing this approach, we are going to create a, a, a very easy script, a very easy example. So first of all, let's create a package, which will be, I will call it, uh, I don't know, uh, check obstacle. There we are. Now it will appear here, the package. There we have it. So I'm going to create a launch folder. And in the SSC directory, I'm going to create the script, which I'm going to call, let's say, I don't know, code.py. Create, excellent. And now here in the launch directory, Let's create a very quick launch file. So the package is check obstacle. The type will be code.py, right? Yeah. Code.py. The name of the node, let's say it's check obstacle. And the output will be a screen. Excellent. So now to the script I'm going to I'm going to copy a code that I have prepared here, a very simple code. Here it is, and now I'm going to explain it. Excellent. So let's put here in the name node uh, check obstacle, as it is in the launch file. Great. So what does this piece of code here though, it's very simple. It is basically a, a subscriber. Yes, a topic subscriber. So first of all, we are creating a node with the name of check obstacle. Then we are creating a subscriber which subscribes to the Kabuki laser scan topic, which is a topic we saw right before that it contains the readings of the laser. Then we create as well a publisher that will publish into the command vel topic, which is a topic we have to publish if we want to move the robot. And here we are initializing a, a twist message, which we will fill up later. 
And yeah, here we just do a spin in order to stop the program here so that it never ends and it keeps getting the callbacks each time a new message is published into the Kabuki laser scan topic. Yes? So then, here in the subscriber, each time a new message is published into this topic, the callback function will be called. So here is where we are defining the callback function. Yes? So the first thing we are going to do in the callback function is to print a message. In this case, it will be the, the center value of the array ranges, as you can see. So here, this is the ranges array, and here we are saying to print the 360 position inside this array, which more or less contains 720 values. So this will be the center value. So the value containing to the reading right in front of the Kabuki robot. Yes? Then here, we are going to publish a value of 0 0.1 to the linear x of the twist message. So when we publish this message, this will cause the robot to start moving forward. Yes? Then, if at any time the value of this ranges array, the value of the center position of this ranges array goes below 1, we will put a 0 to the linear x component, so the robot will stop. Yes? So basically what this code will do is to begin moving the robot forward, and it will keep checking the distance to the obstacle right in front of him. Then, when this distance goes below one meter, the robot will stop. Yes? So, let's test it. Let's see if this works okay. There we are. So, let's execute this code. Great. Yeah, so as you can see the robot begins moving and here we are getting the, the values of the distance to this wall object. And when this goes below one, the robot should stop. Let's see. And there it is. Now the values are, well now the value is below one and the robot has stopped it. So this is why the value keeps more or less stable. There's a little bit of error, but it keeps stable. Yes? Excellent. So, yeah, that's basically it. I hope it has helped you. I hope you have understood, you have learned some new things. And, yeah, see you see you in the next video. Goodbye.